Hi, today's video is about how I take advantage of the circuit sequencer with Launchpad in Ableton. I have not seen anyone making a video on this workflow, so I thought about sharing it with you. This method will work on the old circuit or the new circuit tracks. First of all, we'll go to the preferences in Ableton. And turn on sync on the circuit output port. This will make circuit to follow Ableton's clock. Now in Ableton we have a few tracks with different instruments and all the tracks are set to receive MIDI from all in and all channels. Let's also turn on the click. The purpose of this method is to minimize the interaction with the computer while laying down some ideas. On the first track, I have a drum rack. Let's record something. Now I'll duplicate this pattern on the first 7 patterns and on the 8th pattern I'll create a fill. I'll chain all the patterns to play one by one. Now using the launch pad, I'll transfer all the patterns to a single clip in Ableton. Now after transferring we should immediately clear the patterns on the circuit so that there is no double triggering of nodes. On the second track we have a bass instrument. Let's play some bass. We'll transfer the base using the launch pad in the same way.
and then clear the patterns as we did before. Now let's play a lead over it. So this is the workflow that I use while laying out my ideas. Hope this will be useful for you as well. That's it for today and thanks for your time.